What's up guys, Origin here, and we're playing some Rust. And I wanted to give you a basic tutorial on how to play this game. So I just spawned. You start out with your rock here, which is no description available, but basically you use this to gather resources, kill animals when you first start out. You start out with two bandages, which stops bleeding, and a torch, which provides light when it's dark. So basically when you first spawn, you want to look around and see what's going on. There's another naked guy. Just ignore him, you know. People usually will kill you outside, so. Uh, you'll see these buildings here. Usually, buildings like this that are in the game, these are pre-made structures that usually have decent materials in them, uh, like maybe a weapon sometimes, or bullets or something. Rallo, can I have what you find, please? I'm recording a video for a basic tutorial. Doesn't that make you excited? Watch him hit me. Shotgun shells. Oh, yeah. So that one had shotgun shells. So usually they don't have uh, anything too fancy here. Thank you, Rallo. Yeah, I know. I can't use them either. <laughs> so there's nothing else in here. So other than uh, these little bullshit buildings, um, what you want to do when you first start out is start looking for resources. So look around, I don't see any resources here, but I know there are some, I, I'm familiar enough with the maps to where I know where the resources spawn. And I know past these little houses here that other players have built, that normally resources spawn. So we're going to go check over here for some wood. First thing you want to try to get is either wood or food. Food is pretty much the first thing you want to try to get because if you don't have food you're going to starve to death. The deer here, you can try to kill them but they run so they're really hard to get. You can catch up to them and hit them once but then you, you got to hit them like seven times to actually kill them. So they're kind of, a, see like you missed there, you're kind of a pain in the ass. What you want to try to find is a pig. Usually naked guys, if they're completely naked like this, it means they're not much of a threat. No, they'll, they'll be more friendly than uh, guys that aren't, you know, if they're running around with guns and shit. Don't kill you. Hey, buddy, buddy. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. I like the little trailer park situation you got going on here, Juicy. So we're going to steal his chicken. Hey, I got a tip for you, Juicy. Your chicken in the campfire, you can cook three at a time. Open up your... Hold on. The Juicy, watch. Look, look. Open up your campfire. You see how there's three slots on the bottom that say cook? Can you guys put your weenies up? There's three slots on the bottom that say cook. You can put one piece of chicken or, you know, as many pieces of chicken as you want in them and they'll all cook at the same time, just so you know. Don't point that rock at me. Hey, uh, hey, your penis is pointing at me. It's more dangerous than my rock. <laughs> good point, man, good point. Uh, this tutorial is not heading in the right direction, so I'm going to restart it. <laughs> Alright, back to the basics tutorial. So you've spawned into the game. You have nothing but your rock. Oh, let me hide this chicken. You have nothing but your rock, your bandages, and your torch. So you're on a mission. First thing you want to do is either gather wood. Look at this naked guy. Or gather food. And being the noob that you are, you're probably going to want to gather food first because if you don't gather food, you're going to not notice that your little food counter down here in the bottom right is running out every time you do an action or just staying still, and you'll end up dying. So, you want to start hunting for food. And like I said, resources only spawn in certain areas. So if you see the little stones or wood piles, that means the animals will spawn there also. Like this over here, there's a little stone over here. You'll normally find animals in these areas also. If you're walking around and you see nothing, like you don't see any wood piles or zombies or animals, you're going the wrong way. Not a pig, but a wolf. Um, you don't want to hang out with these when you first start. They will kill you before you kill them with the stone. So what you're going to want to do is run away and wait until you find a pig. What's this? Looks like you've spotted your first pig, but there's a goddamn wolf chasing you! What do you do? You fucking run! Hit the pig on the way. 
And then you keep running. Because this goddamn wolves will chase you a lot farther than you think they will. So you want to run away until that bitch is no... Oh my god, he's still looking at us! Finally, a piggy. Now what you do here... So run up and hit this bitch with your stone. Right. Sneaky little bastard dodged me. So I hit him about seven times. Get to sprint every now and then to keep up. Alright, he's dead. Hatch it together. It says hatch it together, but you can hit with your stone or your, your uh, pickaxe, you know. Whatever you want. So. Start smacking this bad boy. And you see on the bottom right over there, it says two times raw chicken, two times claw, two times claw, one times claw, three times animal fat, two times animal fat, more animal fat. So just keep smacking him until he disappears. He's about done. There he goes. So now it's here in inventory, we got raw chicken breast. All the animals will drop raw chicken breast. That's just the meat. They just, I don't know why Gary didn't decide to just call it meat. But it's raw chicken breast. Whatever. Pigs drop chicken breast. Bears drop chicken breast. Deer drop chicken breast. Now you can eat this now, but you see in the cons where the little description says 80 calories. That means it's down the bottom right where it says food. It'll add 80 points to that, but it'll drop you 10 health. So you're going to want to cook that first. We got some cloth here, which can be used to make armor, your sleeping bag, and animal fat, which can be used to make your furnaces, which actually you make the low-grade fuel to make the furnace, but that's besides the point. So, now you got your, your, your meat, which is your first priority here, so we're going to avoid that guy over there. Next thing you want to do is gather enough wood to make a camper. I already have seven, but you can walk up to these trees here, and smack them with your stone, gather one wood. Gather one wood, and if you get five wood, which we already have, you can make a campfire. You click, press tab to bring up your menu. Press crafting. Go down here to your menu. Scroll down to campfire. Click craft. 19 seconds to craft that. Now while you're crafting, you see on the bottom right here it says crafting. While you're crafting, you move slower. You move at the like crouched pace. So, you sit here and wait for that to get on crafting. You got six seconds left. And when that's done crafting, you'll see it pop in your inventory and you can place it down. So press the 5 key and we'll find a good, like, hidden spot to place this down. And you see it's green. It shows up green on the ground, it means you can place it. If it shows up red like this, it means you can't place it. So, we'll place that down. Hold E. If you hold E, it gives you a little menu. Click on open. See, we got fire fire in there. Bring that in there. Press tab again. Click E. Starts cooking it. So we go back here. Now we see we have cooked chicken breast. So we can left click on that. Drag that down to the hotkeys here. You'll see it says cooked chicken breast. 500 calories, which adds 500 points to your food. It gets rid of 20 radiation points. And it gives you plus 10 health. So if you click 5 now, you'll see my food on the bottom right go up by 500 points and gives me minus what is it minus 20 rads so that's how that is and you notice if you have a fire going you can see this from a quite a far distance so cooking in the daytime is usually better because it's harder to see this because everything's already lit up by the sun so if you cook at nighttime you can see that pretty much across the damn near across the map so usually I cook in the nighttime We'll go ahead and put this out and just gather our stuff up now for now and continue on, continue on to the next point. So now that you have food, what you're going to want to do is start gathering wood. And you find these little wood piles here. These are the best option. You can gather wood from trees, but you get a lot less. Like you get one per hit. If you gather from these wood piles, you get seven per hit. And that's while using your stone. If you use a hatchet, you get ten. If you use a pickaxe, you get twenty per hit. So you're going to gather up all this wood here. And once you get enough, which will be 80, you can build a wooden shack and a wooden door. And then it'll give you some little bit of shelter to stay in over the night. And I've almost got enough. i got 72, so I'm going to smack a couple trees here to get 80. And then we can build a shelter and a door. Shelter costs 50 wood, and a door costs 30. That'll give us enough to survive the night. 
All right, so now that we have 80 wood, we're gonna find a decent spot to build our shelter, put the door on it, and be safe for the night. This looks like a good spot to me. It's kind of off. So we'll scroll through our craftable items here. Wood shelter. Craft, wait 30 seconds. All right, and our wooden shelter is done, so we'll drag that to our hot keys down here. Press four. Drag it up. So now we can move around and place it. I'm gonna try to place it. It's kind of hidden off a little bit. We'll put it right here by this rock. We'll step inside, and look at that. We got our first little wooden shelter up. So I'm gonna bring the menu up again here and scroll down. We're gonna build a wooden door. Where's it at? There it is. We click on that. Craft. Wait 30 seconds. And our wood is done. So we'll drag that down to our high keys. Press 4. Line it up until it turns green. Left click to place. And we have our first little base. Press E will open and close. Depending on what side you're in, it'll push it open. So now that we have a little base. We're gonna build a campfire here. Alright, our campfire is done. So we'll drag that to the hot part. Press 4. Wait till it's green. Place that bad boy down. You can hold E to bring up the interactive menu. You can either start the fire or you can open it. And we'll throw our chicken. We're gonna right click and select split twice. And then we're gonna drag each of these pieces of chicken into the different slots that say cook here. That way you can cook three pieces at a time. Every time you cook one, it'll give you times two cooked chicken. So then we'll sit here and wait for the chicken to get done. So now I've waited a little bit of time here. We got some cooked chicken breast here. We can drag it to the hot bar. And that way we can eat. So now we have a nice little shack to live in. For the time being, we can at least survive the night. And we will continue this basic tutorial series when it becomes daylight in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions on how to do something in Rust, just leave a comment below and I will add it to the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.